What's up, YouTube? Brian Van Dyne here. Coming at you with a live toolbox tour. Uh, I got this a while ago. Finally got around to setting it up. And uh, because, let's just face it. The other day we were working out in the rain. Tools were everywhere. And I'm just sick and tired of having tools and everything everywhere. Laying on the tires, laying on the frame rail. So, I finally took the time to set up the tool cart. Um, time to show you guys what this tool cart's all about. Okay, and I know I'm gonna get some hate. I already know I'm gonna get some hate on this. But I really don't care. <laughs> Cause I'm cheap. So here's, here's how it goes, baby. Okay. Boom! Check that out. We got the U.S. General here. Yeah, I can't afford that one. Or let's just say I don't want to afford the payments. We got a 1980... The Peterbilt's an 85. That pickup's an 89. Yeah, I needed to get a tool cart, man. It, it was just... Things are getting too crazy, you know. And I need something that I can have all my tools centralized on while I'm working on the dump truck. And then if it starts pouring down rain, close the lid, wheel it in the garage. You know, instead of, instead of at the end of the day, having all the tools laying on the garage floor right there. So, let me just take you through the tour. So, as you can see, we got this little tray here. It folds down. Just like that, everything's magnetic that's on there, right? So that's not going nowhere. Brian wants to show it off. He's got power tools. Okay, close that one. Open up the next one. Next one down, we got open end wrenches and crescent wrenches. Next one, we got some miscellaneous stuff. Pencils, file, scraper punch tape measure next one you already showed that one and we haven't got everything completely in here then we got the big guns the impact stuff big one inch stuff okay close that up you missed this one and then this top drawer we got more sockets and in the top we got the toolbox grab and go we got a hammer in here we got uh, some different ra different ratchets I got my shorty I got the the adjustable head one and then I got the really long and then I got a breaker bar in here also I got the grabber if I drop something. Always put that in the top. It's easier to find. And then over here we got the flathead screwdrivers and then we got the Phillips screwdrivers. And then on this side, you can see we got our little towel rack. We got uh, some PB blasters, some brake clean, and some paint. All right? And then down here on the bottom, we got our battery power, we got an extra roll, we got our heat gun, uh, some earmuffs, some C-clamps, another hammer, some tape, uh, gloves, and then we got some big sockets back there that I hardly ever use. But I figure the main reason for this tool cart is going to be for working on the dump truck, not really anything else. So put all the big stuff on it because, you know, I don't want to make 20 million trips anymore carrying the big sockets out see here's what i'm talking about guys this is why we bought a tool cart because i got stuff laying everywhere i'm just sick and tired of this, man. just having stuff laying everywhere i want to be able to rock and roll grab and go you know what i mean my son's over here he's in love with this thing you like it huh yeah that's cool huh and it's got keys check that out so the way this thing also works, here, pull out the keys. Here, grab the keys. Okay, we're gonna shut this. 
And then there's a lock right here. here. Go ahead and lock that. Turn it. Other way. Okay, pull it out. Okay, now what that does is it locks the top. It also lo locks these drawers from uh, being able to open. The way that works, here, let me help you out. You're kind of slow here. The way that works is you got these bumpers right here that lock the drawers, right? So, yes, it's a general. Yes, I got it from Harbor Freight. The thing is, is I was looking for probably two months now for like a Mac, or a, uh, a Blue Point, or a Matco, you know, everybody wants like 500 bucks for a used one. It's like 500 bucks, flipping tripping for a used one, you know. So uh, we went, we picked this one up. It was only, uh, I think out the door we paid 300, and that was with the extra tray and the. Uh, the towel, the towel rack thing. Okay, let's see. Let me catch up on these comments. <sighs> Let me scroll back. I gotta see these comments. But uh, I already answered that. General Hill, man, at least you got one. They're a huge time saver. Amen to that. Matches the trucks. Yes, it does, Christian. That's another thing. When you're trying to find a used toolbox, like, you're not going to find the color you want. Like, it's almost guaranteed for the price. Like, trying to find the right price, the right color, the right everything. You know, it just... And I looked on Marketplace, OfferUp, Craigslist, and, uh, you know, I wasn't finding what I was really looking for. It's better than my box plastic walmart special <laughs> yeah blake it's pretty nice i'm not gonna lie you know now you need to buy a blue one and swap the drawers that'd be sweet that'd be sweet yeah that'd be cool i might do that dang new truck new toolbox show wish gonna get some new power tools yeah, I need... Well, what are you talking about, Blake? I got some nice power tools. Here, put that back in. Let me show the power tools off. We got some power tools right in here. Let me show that. We got the drill. We got the impact driver. And we got the impact wrench. Electric. Uh, the wrap is still... We're still working on the wrap. It, uh... Hopefully this this year, or not this year. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it gets done this year. Uh, hopefully the weather clears up and uh, we get some good weather. Matches his shirt. Of course, my neighbor's got to come down here and turn around while I'm doing my live. When you have the super solo back. I should, I'm guessing next week sometime. That's my goal. Thank you, uh, Red One Ton. Yeah, we pay, we uh, put quite a bit of work into this thing so far. Yeah, we haven't gotten the ratchet yet. I I don't know if I'm sold on those, man. They're Okay, here's the only reason why I'm considering buying one. Here, watch out. Here, step down. Here's the only reason I'm considering buying one. See how wide this is right here? And then you add another two inches of whatever you're putting on the end. It's hard to get into spaces, but this is so much faster, man. So much faster. And I'm pretty sure it uh, hits harder too, but I don't know. I all I know is I used my buddies one time and it seemed kind of weak, but it you know it was much more compact. Nice pickup behind me. Oh yeah, that's my 
landlords where did you end up moving or did they let you keep the equipment where you live uh, I got all my equipment stored down on my property um, it's a little ways from here what made me buy a new truck versus an old truck I'll tell you what what made me do that Andrew okay I'll tell you what made me do that you see that yoke right there you see those bearings you see all that stuff right there finding parts for this truck is getting harder and harder I mean here let me show you another thing don't ruin daddy's toolbox okay he loves that thing he's obsessed with it already let me show you what I got in the back of my pickup see these torque cars right here I went to like four or five different dealerships and none of them have them there so now I gotta wait until Monday night or Tuesday or something to pick them up so I gotta put those old junk ones back on because nobody had them available right and then on top of that nobody had the yoke nobody could even identify the yoke right because the numbers on it are you know I mean we Doug helped me out he sent me some emails and I really appreciate him that guy's a rock star and uh you know who you are Doug you're you are a rock star man um and so you know finding parts for this thing is just getting harder and harder and harder you know and I love working on this thing not in the rain but I you know I like keeping it up and and you know driving it and everything but man getting parts it, here's another thing right I had to go three different places before they had this before I could get this air valve three different places you know it's just like parts are getting so hard to find for this old truck you know and you know and the dealerships they don't work you know they don't really want to work with you either on getting parts I mean Peterbilt's happy to work with me but Kenworth is like that's a Peterbilt we're not touching that you know and then you know only if you have a part number you know and then they're always like well it's not coming up you know and they don't really want to put any effort into it because it's not their truck you know yeah you know we went to four different places before we got that bearing and none of the dealerships even had the bearing I had to go to O'Reilly's to get the bearing and uh we got the uh I got the race also from O'Reilly's. The dealership didn't have that. None of the other places that I go to get my normal parts had it. O'Reilly's had it, which, you know, finding parts is, it's, it's a witch hunt, man. It's a treasure hunt. And, you know, so that's the main reason why I'm buying the new dump truck. You know, I'm just sick and tired of trying to hunt. Like we hunted all day and all we came back with was one bearing. That's the only new part we were able to come back with that day, basically. We came back with the air parts, but we had to go to four or five different places, you know. Okay, let me catch back up on these comments. Uh, Dang, I gotta get that battery ratchet. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm, uh, I'm thinking about it, Blake. I'm thinking about it. Where do you end up moving? I already answered that one. Uh, I got my tool cart at Harbor Freight. It's like 300 bucks total out the door. Are you going to wrap the fenders on this truck to match the new Pete? No, probably not, Jessica. Probably not. This one's going to stay the same. And, uh, hey, that'll probably be our new company look. You know, for all the new trucks, we'll probably do that. Or we may just... We may have each one different, just orange and blue, and just stick with the theme orange and blue. So I'm not sure on that yet. I'm hooked on OBS Forge. All of mine are power strokes, but IDA will never let you stranded. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I definitely believe in that. Man, I, I kind of wish this one was a power stroke, um, just for the extra speed, you know. But it is what it is. You can't find an 89 power stroke. It's that clean that, you know is the price tag I want to pay, you know.
Exactly. I got a driver the same time. I got a. I got the ratchet, and I've never used the driver. Really, Blake? Man, dude. I see. I have an air ratchet. I never use it. Never. It is so. Like it does not have any power for tightening anything down. It doesn't have any power. It's just kind of speed and that's it. And it's too much of a pain to pull out the air hose to use it. For me. No, I can't blow the truck horn. The truck's not aired up. Take five minutes to air it up. Yeah, I had 60K burning a hole in my wall. <laughs> that's another reason, Blake, why I bought the new truck. Yeah, I had a hundred thousand dollars just sitting there, like, uh, let's use this up, you know. Should have just changed the bushings. Change what bushings? Yeah, parts, man. That's like the number one thing that is the toughest thing with this truck is finding parts and finding somebody also who's also willing to work on it too. They're like, oh, that thing's. You know, that's ancient. Nobody knows how to work on it. You didn't notice. You didn't realize the dump bed was a smooth bottom. What do you mean, Blake? I can show you what the bed looks like. It's kind of bumpy. Bumpy bumped. It needs a... Uh, it needs an insert or a reline soon enough. You can see there's some dents in it. I haul concrete, you know. I put I put the the plywood on the sides a year ago, two years ago, probably two years ago, close to, and that's really saved the saved the sidewalls from the concrete because that stuff's it is brutal. Uh, probably not gonna sell the old Pete. I'll probably just park it in my yard and have it look cool. Or maybe one day, you know, when I ha have unlimited money, maybe make it a show truck or a monster truck or something. It's got no cross members. What do you mean? Yeah. Must be an AR-450 bed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's heavy duty. It's heavy duty. It's got uh, it's got cross members underneath. I don't know if that's what you're referring to. Somebody had mentioned that I make sure I'm safety first. Always safety first, man. One of the first things I did when I bought this Peterbilt was I welded that on there and made a little pin up here for the safety bar. It was bungee corded up there. Yep, whenever we're working on this thing, the safety bar is down. I'm not <laughs> I'm not trusting any seals, you know. I ain't about that. Turn your head around. Smooth bottom, not cross members. Yeah. One one of the guys asked me where I put my hydraulic tank. That's it right there. It goes up in between. That's what the doghouse is. It goes up in there. Somebody asked me where that was. Because he he has a tandem or something in the hydraulic tank sitting right there blocking all of his space to put a drop axle in. Yeah. You ain't gonna move that. It's on the ground. Yeah, Blake, I mean, it's an okay box. I like it. I like it. You know, uh, I wish there wasn't so many dents in the floor. <laughs> and I wish, one thing that really irritates the heck out of me, let me show you. When they refloored this, they use one big piece and it basically comes across right there, right? So there's a little lip 
And you see where all the stuff is, you can see it kind of gets stuck from there up. Just gets stuck up in there. And then also there's like two little like bumps on each side. So whenever I'm trying to shovel it out with a shovel, the shovel hits the metal. It's almost like a rivet or something. I don't know what it is, but it's so annoying. Yep. But anyways, I came to show you guys this tool car. This thing freaking rocks. And then I got the little, I got the cable clamped up for the light. Yeah, that's the handle. The uh, wheels, two of them are spinning casters and they, ha and they have brakes on them. Hey, I want the brake on it. I want it rolling away. And then two on this side are straight. What's up, Sydney? Time for a vibrator? Yeah, Blake. I don't even know if it would help. Because, man, sometimes I slam that, that tailgate and it still doesn't really knock the stuff down. You know, so. I don't know. Yeah, you put the brake on. It's got two brakes, huh? Mm -hmm. The way I paid for that is I sold this. Uh, I sold this welder and this cart, and I also sold my uh, aluminum spool gun for that welder. I'm not selling the tank or nothing. But that little Pro Mig 140, I've had that for shoot probably eight years now well no not eight years probably six years now it's put in a lot of good time made a lot of money with that little welder but i've never even used it since we got this lincoln pro mig 260 this thing freaking rocks so it's a little big but i freaking love that thing man if you're looking for a heavy duty welder and you want to weld you know, just steel that's your welder man I don't know if I would get the Miller. The Miller's a little more expensive, and it does the same thing, and that thing is sweet. Does that tool cart have the drawer liners? Blake, I'm not sure if this is what you're talking about, but it has these little things, little foam pads in each of the drawers. I'm not sure if that's what you're talking about, but it's got the it's got the little foam on all of them. It's just a foam. It's got it's a nice touch. I'll probably glue them down or something, or maybe not. I probably won't glue them down. If I glued them down, then they would get ruined, and then it'd look tacky. At least if it gets ruined, I can just pull it out and throw it away. But it's a five drawer. I think it's rated for 700 pounds. I think. The casters are actually kind of nice. I, I thought they were decent casters. So. All right. So the rim of the caster is like a plastic and then it's got this nice, nice, it's kind of a hard rubber. It does have a Zerk fitting right there on, on the swivel ones. The one thing I'm not 100% thrilled about with the general stuff is they have these funky... It's like a little latch, right? You see this little triangle thing? So if you've never used one before, it's nice because what happens is is they don't come out. You know, they don't just fall. Like if you're moving the cart around, they don't roll out, right? Which I love that. But here's where it becomes a pain. When you're carrying something and you're trying to open something up, you know, you have to hit that switch. 
you know. I'm not sure how I feel about these two have both of the switches on the left side and the other drawers have the switch on the right side, right? Just so you know, they are ball bearing uh, slides. They, all bar they are ball bearing slides. I have, and one of the reasons why I went with the general is because I kind of already had some experience with the Harbor Freight toolbox and I've loved the thing. I got this one right here, this big box. I freaking love this thing. As you can see, there's junk all over it. And uh, the one thing I hate about this though, here's the one thing, the only thing that I hate about it, which I'm not too thrilled about the little locky things, but I understand the concept and I like it. But here's the one thing that I hate, absolutely hate about this box. Let me just show you. This is what I absolutely hate. See how you have these right here? Let me open this up. These little name things right here, they are constantly, they're supposed to have black stoppers. They slide out and get lost. And the next thing you know, the this stupid little name thing is always sliding out. And it is so annoying. Oh my goodness, it's one of the most annoying things in the world to me. But other than that, I freaking love this thing, you know? So. Got some stickers on here. 80% arms. My O'Reilly stuff. Then I got an old Napa box over there my grandpa gave to me. And then my first toolboxes were these filing cabinets. I am so over filing cabinets. I, I do not do filing cabinets anymore. <laughs> filing cabinets are a no-go for me. I remember my first time moving with a filing cabinet toolbox. I went to go lift it up and the drawers slid out and then they fell out and then I could never get them back in and I was literally, I was in a rage. But hey, you locked the toolbox. Dingleberry. That's the, let me show you the locking mechanism. It's, that's the way that works. And it latches onto that, which is welded, spot welded. Comes with four different keys. Pretty sweet. I love how strong the uh, struts are on this thing. Like, watch this. Literally to right there. And it lifts up. Hey, you're not supposed to touch it. Daddy was showing him how strong it is. And then it just goes up. All right. I don't know how I'm going to like this tray thing. I like the idea, the concept. But at the same time, I don't know how... See, the way it it latches right it sits in this little groove and that's what holds it so it's probably not very strong i don't know what yeah yep that's my magnet i don't know how strong it is so i don't know i'm still up in the air about this thing we'll have to battle test it out yeah, what's it say? U.S. General. U.S. General. Yep. So, anyways, guys. That is the Tool Art Live Tour. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, look at all that heavy equipment in the background. Mmm. That's how you know these stuff, this stuff gets used. Somebody's got to fix something. Let's come in for a close-up. Hey, turn around. 
Let's pull all the drawers out a little bit. Let's pull this one out all the way. This one out a little bit. Yep. Okay. Okay, step back. Daddy wants to show it off. This is the toolbox tour. People want to see this stuff. Alright. So check that out. Let's see. Here, I want to see something. I want to see if with all these tools out, it'll flip over. I mean, that's a lot of weight coming out. Nope. Still sturdy as heck. And I don't really have a lot of weight in the bottom. Just some random stuff. Right, so you got all that weight out here and it's still holding it up pretty good. So that's good to know too right there. Will your toolbox tip over if you pull all the drawers out? <laughs> Cause you do not want to experience that. Yeah, but daddy has several drawers out at a time because daddy needs to grab several stuff and put several stuff away. I love this PB Blaster. It's cheaper than WD-40 and it seems to work really well. And then I got this brake clean right here. This is the uh, chlorinated type. I guess that works better than the non-chlorinated type. And then I got obviously orange and blue and black spray paint right there. Let's see, what's this thing say? Five drawer mechanics cart. Do not exceed 700 pound weight capacity. There's the serial number and everything on that. What do you think of the toolbox? It's cool. It's cool? What's your favorite part? Orange. Orange? What else? Show me what you. Show me. It's not blue and orange. It's just orange. What's your second favorite part? Catch up on these comments real quick. You bet I don't have a single 10 millimeter in that whole box. Uh, 10 millimeter right here. There's my tan. Safe and sound. Hey, be careful. Daddy doesn't want you losing those. Here's another 10 millimeter. I don't lose my tools, man. I break them. That's what happens. They get broke. Like the screwdriver this toolbox came with, I broke it. The uh, extension this toolbox came with, I broke it. I got this new one. It's kind of a swivel. It allows you to tw tilt the socket a little bit. I do not like these. I, I like it, but I don't like it. It's love-hate. Love-hate relationship. And then we got a long extension in there. I'll just keep those. And then let's see. Is there a 10 millimeter on this? These are standard, I think. Yep, standard. Damn, them are the first to disappear. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they disappear quite often on a lot of people. Anyways, guys. Thanks for checking out my toolbox live tour, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to pound that like button, pound that subscribe button if you're new. Check out all my other great content, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.